Hi again, YouTubers. So it is yet again another clean out video, declutter video, whatever you want to call these ones. This drawer is going to be powders and bronzer. So I'm going to jump right in and we're just going to go through them all together. All right, so taking a look at this drawer, this is all different powders. These are all eye setting. These are all face ones. And over here is all bronzers. So let's all right, I am going to start with the bronzers because they are the closest thing to me. First thing is the number seven bronzers and they're just bronzing powders. I have one in caramel and one in golden sand. And honestly, I thought golden sand was gonna be like way too light for me and I started using caramel first, um, if you can see them both. And I love them both. They are my grab go-to bronzers right now. It's insane. Um, this is like my just everyday one and this is more like if I have a little bit more color to my skin. So that one is definitely staying. I'm gonna go through and kind of do definitely staying like let's think about it and then like give give away to friends. My all-time favorite bronzer that I go back to time and time again every summer. The Hourglass Bronzer, it's kind of hard to see here. It is called the Luminous Bronze Light. It is the lighter of the two of them. You can definitely see that there's, that used to be like domed and now it is like divoted this way. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. It is my go-to summertime bronzer every year. I love it. Glow Minerals, Sunlight Bronze. Um, I liked this. I think it's very nice. I think it's a nice bronzer. Is it one that I grab for continually all the time? No, but do I like it? Yes. Lila B. This is called the B Sunkissed Bronzer. I don't know if you guys haven't seen these before. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. I love this in the winter time. Um, in the summertime, it might be a little bit too light for me, but in the winter time, it is like one of my favorites I grab for. This one I got this year. It's the Becca Shade and Light, no, Shadow and Light Bronze Contour Perfection doesn't have an actual color name. Typical Becca packaging. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. I really, really do like this. I enjoy this one a lot. Um, oh, picked this up this year too. Had heard someone talking about this. I forget who it was, MAC. And it is the Mineralized Skin Finish. It's actually a face powder in dark deep. But this is actually a gorgeous color that is really, really great for the summertime. It is just gorgeous. It is easy to throw on. Um, it is very natural looking, but also very, like, it's just a great bronzer, very diffused looking. Um, Vita Liberta. This is the Tri Style. It's the Self Tanning Bronzing Minerals. Um, I don't have much of it left. It's to right here. Um, I use these quite a few times during the summertime. Um, it does it does not self tan, by the way. I have a whole review on this. Does not self tan, um, but I feel like in the summertime I grab for it sometimes. Um, it's a really good just throw on before you go to the beach if you want a little bit of color. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. This one has always been a favorite of mine. It is one that I will always have in my arsenal because it's one of those ones you just go back to. Um, Chanel, and this is the Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronze Universal. I always just call this Bronze Universal. This is a newer one. I was on a kick for a while there. I love the smell of this. This is one of those products you always go back to um, that you forget about. I was on a kick there for a while that this was pretty much all I was using. Um, I have a little Kevin Aquan sample. What is this? This is the Sculpting Powder in Medium. Maybe I should give this a try. Oh, that's kind of... It looks more like an eye. I'm not going to keep that. Um, and it's just a sample. Let's see here. These were my big thing for quite some time there. It was the Guerlain Terracotta Light in 04 Sun Blondes Sheer Bronzing Powder. This is the one that I tend to sometimes go back to in the summertime because it does have a really nice pink undertone to it. And I on my chest and like through here get a much more pink undertone to me. So I definitely want to keep that one. This one is the Terracotta Four Seasons um, Tailor Made Bronzing Powder Zero Two Natural Blondes. Uh, this is not one that I grab for that often at all. Um, it's one of those ones I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to think about that one because that's one of those ones I feel like I will go wish I had at some point, but I don't grab for it. Essay Lauder Bronze Goddess. Um, this is just a must have bronzer. If you've never owned this bronzer, this is just a phenomenal bronzer that everyone should have. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Let's see here. I have a little kabuki in here. Not sure why. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a Benefit Hula. I don't think I'm going to keep that. Hula just never worked on me. 
I'm too red undertone for that. This is Pixie by Petra. It's called the Multi Bomb, I think it's called. Yeah, Multi Bomb Sheer Sculpt. It's a bronze color. Very pretty, very nice. Um, I don't grab for it though. Another Kabuki. Um, I don't know why I had my Kabukis back there. Ooh. Um, I, this is Do the Hula. Okay, so this is a liquid bronzer. Um, not something I would use. My girlfriend Dina might really like that. Laura Geller Makeup. Um, this thing is old as dirt. I should probably just get rid of it for that reason. But every once in a while I grab for it. Bronze and Brighten. Maybe I should just buy a new one of this. Um, this was before they even had colors. Look how old this packaging is. This is like one of my original things I had like doing videos but like it's not it's still pigmented it's still it's one of those ones that has a little bit of a pink undertone to it it does well for me in the summertime see I just keep keeping it because I don't grab for it that often uh, if you are an original to this channel you will remember this do you remember this I used to have a candle on this and this is what I used for my foundation before I started using the coasters um, Smashbox Contour Palette. I have not used this in so long. That's questionable. That one is questionable. Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This one I used for the longest while. Like this was almost all I used. This I will keep no matter what. Um, that shade, the Smashbox one though, I feel like, do I need it? There's another Kabuki. Um, I put my Kabukis in the back and they hold products up closer. Laura Mercier Contour Palette. This is their cream contour palette. Boy, I used this for a really, really, really long while, but I also feel like cream products go bad. I don't know. They all still feel good and they don't have any scent to it. I wonder if there's a date. That says 12 months on it. <sighs> darn, 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 darn. What do, you know what, what, let's look what the powders say. All right, powders say 12 months too. And I know powders last longer than 12 months. Like, obviously, look at some of these. Um, gosh, but I don't grab for it that often. I should probably get rid of it. All right, I need to get rid of this. I do, I do. I'm probably gonna regret that, but I do need to get rid of it. Okay, so the things I'm debating. Basically, these are the only two I'm debating on this part. So we will think about that. So I'm gonna set all of these off to the side and let's start going into the next section I have here is pretty much setting powders for under the eye. This is a Becca Buki brush, RCMA no color powder, by far a favorite. Um, ben Nye luxury powder cameo. Um, like going all over the place. This one works for me for under the eyes. The banana one did not. All right, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Um, Besame uh, brightening vanilla powder in translucent. Um, that one's a really nice one. Cover FX translucent light. It's like a sample. I don't grab for it. So I, I don't know why I end up keeping samples like that of things that I'm like, oh, I'm going to try it. And then I never do. Makeup Forever HD powder. Um, you know what, I never grab for that. Bare Minerals, Summer Bisque, never grab for that either. Um, this is a sample of something, what is this? Ella Rose Minerals, Bright Eye Under Eye Brightener. See, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll give that a try, but I never end up trying it, so okay. This one, again, another old school one. They don't even make this anymore, and I think I have two backups of it. Laura Mercier, and it was the Smooth Finish Foundation Powder in the color number three, and I used this forever for setting my under eyes, the longest while. Um, that one just needs to hit the trash, honestly. Oh my gosh. Okay, kicking it back big time here. This drawer is bringing back some memories. Do you guys remember this? Benefit, what was this even called? Powderflage? This stuff, I love this stuff, and I don't, I would, I don't even grab for it, and it's like a hundred years old. <laughs> um, in this drawer, there's lots of those sponges. I sometimes use those for setting. Kabuki, 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 kabukis, kabukis. Lots and lots and lots of kabukis. All right, on to the face powders. First one, Color Science uh, Mineral Corrector Kit. This is for all different kinds. Whoa, all different kinds of things under the eye. And for um, concealing, uh, I really do like that a lot. 
Newer products are always up at the top. Laura Mercier, this is called, what is the actual name? Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in number one. Goodness, can't get it. This is gorgeous. This stuff is just gorgeous. It reminds me of those hourglass powders that, like this. Hourglass Ambient Dim Light is the one I own. Very, very similar to number one. A little bit more pink toned than the Laura Mercier number one. Go-to favorite. I even have a backup of this. Guerlain Meteorites um, in the color 03 Medium. This one, I love the smell of this stuff. Oh my God. I need to start using this again. This stuff is just heaven, heaven, heaven. Love it. All right, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder in 5.5. I can only use this in the summertime. It's fine. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. Chanel, what is the actual name of this? Um, powder Universal Natural Finish Loose Powder 30 Natural Translucent Number 2. This is a loose powder. It's fine. I like it. I grab it once every so, so often. It is not something I would repurchase. Lila B, and this is called the B Natural. What is the actual color? Flo um, flawless Finish Foundation. I guess B Natural is the color. Again, very, very, very pretty. Um, very nice. I really like that. Um, some of my favorites, these here. I, this is something that is always in my arsenal. First of all is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I use this all the time. It is what I have on today. And then I have the Laura Mercier Minerals. I have the colors Real Sand, Classic Beige, and Natural Beige. I don't grab for them all the time, but they are one of those things that I always have to have it. Um, this is Clinique Powder. It is the Blended Face Powder and Brush number two transparent but it is very pink toned i actually use this for quite some time under my eyes i might give that a try again um i always liked that all right mac mineralized skin finish in medium um just a really nice setting powder it's one of those good basics it cosmetics bye bye pores powder the pressed version i really actually do like that one Urban Decay, I use this continually for a year. Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in Light Neutral. I use this one forever, but this one can pretty much hit the trash. I know I have a backup. Um, that one can hit the trash, though. Let's see what we have here. All right, we have It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Lumination in Light. Um, this is a really nice powder as well. Um, I don't use as many tinted powders. Jaclyn Collab. Um, this was a brush, a kabuki brush. Eve Pearl. Okay, so this was the Invisible Finish powder, Powderless Powder. Um, I remember getting this, trying it. It just wasn't something I grabbed for. That's a giveaway. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Tinted Skin Blurring Finishing Powder in Medium. I don't ever grab for this. I think I tried it like once. Um, it just wasn't something I grabbed for. Lots of stuff in this drawer. Almost then. Almost done yet. This section and one more. Um, okay, love this, guys. Becca, what is the actual name of this? Um, Soft Light Blurring Powder in Golden Hour, Double Luminous. This stuff I use with that Becca Kabuki brush you guys saw. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's like a loose version of the Laura Mercier in the Hourglass is probably the easiest explanation. Okay, another old school. This was like the first year I started doing YouTube Mac their holiday collection um, and you could get the powder replacements and I still have one replacement. I think these were, what were these? Sheer mystery powder. Um, I used to carry this in my purse and it's so pretty, but it's so heavy. And I was like, why am I carrying this? And I never grabbed for it. Um, it's such a shame. Like I keep it more for the fact that it's so pretty. You know what? I'm going to put this up there and display it because it's not something I need to have in my drawer. I won't ever grab for that. Um, cover FX. Pressed Mineral Powder Foundation. The color number is rubbed off. I have no idea on this. Um, I don't grab for this. And I feel like the color is like too yellow for me. Yep, that one's going away. Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder 118. Oh, that is way too yellow for my skin tone. It's probably going to my girlfriend. Um, Shiseido Sun Protection Powder Foundation. I love this stuff. I forget the names of the colors I have. They rename the colors. I use these every summer. I love them. They are amazing. I love the liquid foundation. I love the powder foundation. Oh, this one needs to get, it's going to fall apart as soon as I do this. 
I need to empty this one out and get rid of that one because it's lifting on the edges. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to set this over here so I empty that one out. But definitely keeping that. I can buy replacements to refill that, by the way. Um, last drawer over, our last little area over here. And then we'll put them all back together. MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. I used to live by this powder, guys. That is, I mean, maybe in the wintertime, but I don't grab for um, powder foundation setting powders anymore. Studio Fix Powder in N5. I obviously had no idea what color I was in that. Ooh. No. Nope, nope, nope. Um, all right. Then we have Glow Minerals matte finishing powder way too yellow for me and yes i know i am i have self tanner right now but still that's not gonna work so makeup forever duo matte the color is number is rubbed off again way too yellow for me my girlfriend is gonna be getting a lot of these <laughs> okay clinique perfectly real compact makeup shade 128 that's fine. I liked that. I remember really liking that when I used that. Uh, Bourjois Healthy Balance Matte in number 53 Beige Clear. Too yellow for me. All right. And then Laura Mercier Natural Beige. Mineral Pressed Powder in Natural Beige. Again, just too yellow. But the Natural Beige in the mi Loose Minerals works well for me. Um, Laura Mercier. What is this called? Foundation powder number four. Way too yellow again, I think. All right, so I have a good amount that I am giving away and a good amount that needs to go back in. I'm gonna put it all in the drawer and show you what it looks like. So I'm like. doing this from the opposite side from on this side. So now here are all my bronzers. I did end up keeping that Smashbox one. These are my eye, you know what? This is pretty much eye and eye highlighters. Am I saying that right? Um, so I think I might do this, like things I use on my eyes, I guess is the easiest way to say it, to highlight or to set my under eye. So I'm going to move that there maybe. Let's move a little bit around here. So, all right. Then I have, let's do it this way. The two like setting powders that I use here that are more, these are all luminous setting powders. Actually, I should move this one down here too with the brush. Then I have the minerals and this that I just love. And then I have more um, setting face powders back here that have more uh, color to them, you know, more foundation powders, I should say. And then the Chanel loose one and the color science one right back here. And that is it. It's all nice and clean. The uh, kabukis are back over here and the sponges are back on this one. So looks good. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I definitely feel this whole process like really feels good after I'm done. I'm always like excited to try the items that I found again. And it, um, gets rid of things that are just sitting there not being used. And plus I then give them to other people I know, friends, family, people that might make use of them. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do not yet already, please follow me on social media and also don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.